So everybody always asks us about education. What's it like educating our son? Let's talk about that a little bit. Any specific strategies, things like that that we use, resources? Our education style has changed and it's always changing. So that's the one thing that I love about world schooling is it can adapt to your family and your needs. It doesn't, there's no one size fits all solution for everyone, which is good and bad because you have this ultimate flexibility, but then you're like, what do I do? So that said, we started out completely unschooling, which worked really well because it was pre-pandemic. We were out and about, we were doing things and we were living in the moment and learning through our living moments. And it was amazing. And then we went through the pandemic and the lockdowns. And so we tried to do school at home. I ordered workbooks online and we tried to supplement with some other app-based learning. We, based, we have a schedule every day that we followed. Little man hated it. I hated it. He would hide the schedule. It was awful. So we realized that unschooling ishness works for our family but it's really hard to learn through life when your life is at home 24 7 because there's a lockdown so as soon as the lockdown started to go away vanish as soon as things started going back to some semblance of normal we let up on that a little bit we did start experimenting without school about that time because I really liked having access to online education that didn't necessarily offer resources I could provide. Uh, little man took this really great out school art class, painting. We hung his paintings up all over our apartments and it was great because I'm not an art teacher. I can't teach painting technique. And so we really, really liked that. And then when we left Malaysia, went to Mexico, we just took a little break to see how things were. And then there was another COVID strain hitting and Mexico kind of went into this like partial lockdown. So like kids weren't allowed in public places, but nothing was really closed. It was weird. So we found this online school that was very like self-directed, which is right up our alley. And we started with that in July of 2021. So we've been with the school now for two years. And the school is called Cubrio XP, and I can put a link for it. We can put the link for it down in the description. And what I really like about it is, is he has a daily check-in with the same group of kids every day, Monday through Thursday. School is only four days a week, which I like because then we can still go do things on weekdays, which is usually less crowded for the touristy stuff. So he goes to a check-in, which is like a homeroom, and... They'll do anything from like an educational activity to a social activity, different things. And he can also choose other things. You know, he's learned how to build video games through Unity. He does history. He has science. He was doing foreign language for a while. He was doing music, using technology to write songs. So he's been able to explore a lot of different things that we wouldn't necessarily have the skill set to teach him. He got really into scratch coding for a while and different things. He even was taking art classes for a while. So he gets to kind of try out different things that he likes and I don't have to be the expert in everything. So I really like that. But the school is actually geared towards world schoolers, traveling families. So if we want to skip school for his birthday to go to the hot springs and sushi, we just tell them we're not going to be in school on Monday. And they're like, okay, have fun. You know, it's really flexible. And there's no, there's no one coming after us to say, oh, you missed too many days of school. Your child is truant. We had that problem before we left to travel full time with the public school because I would book vacations for when we felt like going and not for a school break because it's cheaper to travel that way. And so I ended up telling the te his homeroom teacher and his principal, this is what we're doing. And he's not going to be doing homework or makeup work while we're gone. He will just have to figure it out when he gets back. If you have problems with that, you can talk to me. You cannot talk to him about it. It is not his fault. 
it is my decision. So thankfully, we were with a school that was actually pretty cool about it, or they pretended to be because they never gave us any trouble. So it was good. But we were only in public school through what, first end of first grade? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure that the second grade teacher would probably not have been as flexible from what I heard. But, oh well. We became digital nomads, so that's, we didn't have to worry about that. So we really do lean toward unschooling because when you're living a life like this, education doesn't have to happen every minute of every day. And kids don't have to be in a classroom for eight hours every single day. I mean, when you're learning about science and biology because you're on an island full of new and different animals, when you're snorkeling and learning about aquatic life because you see sea turtles, that is so magical. When you're learning about history because you're at Machu Picchu, I mean, it it's a totally different type of learning. And you do need to be intentional to make sure that kids have an opportunity to find things that they're interested in. Like right now, little man's into animation. And so we've been giving him opportunities to explore animation outside of the animation club that Kubrio offers. You know, there's definitely different opportunities, but you also just have to let go of the fact that school is more than spelling tests. If you want to give spelling tests, that's fine. But for us, it's what language would we offer them in? You know, I mean, yes, English, but there's also Spanish and he's learning Chinese and there's, there's so many opportunities. I'd rather focus on letting him take the lead because kids are like sponges, right? So education happens more naturally when they're not forced to do it, for sure. I love it. You gave a lot of great examples, great yeah. definitions. Um, there's probably a lot of questions out there, and that's great. We love questions. You can always reach out to us in the comments or send us an instant messenger. But I think the best bet is probably going to be on uh, Instagram. It's one of our best ways that we like to communicate with folks. 